it might surprise some of you to learn that the subject that I did at university was mathematics. Whenever anyone asks me what I did at uni, I normally get met with either two faces, either, oh, maths, that must have been really, really boring, or, oh, maths, wow, you must be really, really clever. And this always frustrates me a little bit because I think there is a general belief, um, in the UK at least, and in the school system that I was brought up in, that maths is this other thing and it's something that you either get or you don't get. That it is some kind of talent which is innate in us and either you have that ability or you don't. And while I'll admit that yes, there do seem to be people that are geniuses in certain fields and just have this in incredible ability and that there are subjects or interests that, that some people really lean towards and some people don't, I think the idea that we're either left brain or right brained or we have to be either creative or logical and analytical is false. I think being able to learn mathematics and being able to analyse and look at things logically is a skill that we can learn and that anyone can learn. And my theory as to why people normally react that way when I tell them that I did maths is because that's how we approach it. We approach it as a talent rather than as a skill that can be learned. When we first start school at four or five, we don't know anything. We don't know how to read, we don't know how to write, we don't know numbers and letters, maybe you know a few. And obviously there is a very strong push to make sure that children can read and write because those are really important skills that you need to learn in order to get by in life. Like you need to be able to read road signs, for example. And obviously there's a similar push to make sure that children can count and add and, subtra and subtract and recognize numbers. But I don't think it's pushed in the same way as reading is. I think there's a much stronger focus on parents reading to children after school, on getting kids reading and uh, making sure that your handwriting's very neat. And it's not something that we accept generally that children can't do. Aside from obvious external factors such as learning difficulties or um, dyslexia, etc, etc, we don't normally accept that children aren't going to be able to read. Um, you, you, we expect children to be able to leave school being able to read and write. And although there is a similar push to make sure that children can add and subtract and count and what have you, there does seem to be this idea that if children at age five, six, seven, eight don't show um, a particular strength in maths, then parents and teachers and friends just kind of think, oh, okay, well, maths isn't for you. That's, that's not a thing that you can do. That's fine. You can just do the basics of maths. It's obviously not a strong skill for you. And then it just perpetuates the myth that maths is something that you just can or just can't do because it's only those children who show the aptitude for maths at young ages who then go on and continue to learn it because if you don't show that, interest when you're young, then I think you can be swept aside quite quickly in terms of in terms of whether maths is something that you could enjoy or could be really good at. And I find it quite absurd because we're all complex human beings and we all have different skills and strengths to, to varying degrees. And children are blank slates. Children can learn anything if they're taught in the correct way. When babies and toddlers are learning to walk, they, they struggle. No, no toddler just starts walking straight away. They pull themselves up and they fall over and they keep trying to walk and they keep trying to walk and the parents keep encouraging them to try and walk until one day they can walk. No parent ever sees their child struggling to walk and just think, oh, do you know what? Walking probably isn't your thing. Maybe we'll push you on the swimming, like you might be really good at that. It's just everyone learns to walk. And maths isn't something that you have to be incredibly clever to be able to do. Anyone can learn how to do it. If you saw a really amazing pianist um, churning out a concerto, you would look at them and think, wow, they are, they are a genius at this. Like they, they are so good. And you would think, yeah, okay, they probably have a lot of natural musical ability. They've probably got a lot of drive. Um, they've been doing it for years. That's an, that's an incredible skill that they have. But you wouldn't then sit at the piano yourself, look at all the sheet music and think, oh, I don't read music. I can't play the piano. I could never play the piano. This just doesn't make sense to me. You would think, well, that's amazing, but if I had had piano lessons, or if I decided to teach myself now how to read music, if I practiced every day, 
I probably could learn how to play the piano um, because we don't just come out of the womb knowing how to play the piano. It's something that's taught and it's something that's learnt. And I think this is the attitude we need to have, well, to everything in life, but more so to maths than we do at the moment for some reason. You don't have to like maths, you don't have to enjoy numbers, you don't have to find it interesting, you can find maths boring. I will accept all those as reasons for why people did, didn't like maths lessons at school. but. My counter argument to that would be that if you're not very good at something, you tend to not enjoy it. And if you don't really understand the complexities of something, then yeah, it can be really overwhelming. And it's easier sometimes just to reject something completely and say, oh, I just, I don't understand it, it's boring, I don't want to do that. But we all had the ability to learn and understand the grammatical structures and rules of our own language. I would suggest that if we can learn to read and write in our own languages, then we can learn the language of maths. It's the same thing. It's just a different language that you need to understand how it works and how all the rules relate to each other. And once you tackle that, then it doesn't become scary anymore. I'm obviously coming from this from my own personal perspective as someone who did a maths degree and these are my personal experiences and anecdotal evidence of how I feel people react to that as a subject. I would love to hear any comments that you have um, on this topic but I do believe that if they're taught correctly children can learn anything and I do believe even us as adults if we want to learn something, if we really want to go back to basics and learn something new or something old then it can be done. And I think if maths is something that you struggle with or if maths is something that you're scared of and you just don't really understand it, you find it a little bit scary. I get that and I get that it can seem like a hugely mammoth task to learn how to do something that you've been avoiding for a number of years. But you definitely can do it. Anyone can learn how to do maths, how to use Excel, how to use logic. How, like Anyone can learn that. It's a skill that you weren't born without and you can do it. You might not like it, but you can do it. <laughs> you might not want to do it, but you can do it. As always, look forward to hearing your thoughts and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Someone else who I've been watching for a long time and has a little piece of my heart is Chintia over at CA to Bois. Someone else whose videos are just so incredibly insightful, so informative, and I could just watch.